Hey guys, this is Daniel Sobrano, and today I'm going to teach you a new technique. I call it grab and strike, and it's tailor made for the street, so stay tuned. Alright, guys, so what I've done is you get yourself, like right here, I have a, a flat nylon webbing, it's like about two inches long or wide, about eight to ten feet long, maybe a little bit longer, twelve feet maybe. And what I've done is I've just looped it, put the, the loop, the main part of the, the trail through and the loop and just let it hang here on the, on the, on the bag, heavy bag. And you can use a heavy bag, tie bag, whatever kind of um, punchy bag you have. Now, the reason I have this is because um, a lot of times when you're fighting, especially when you're sparring in the ring or, you know, boxing and doing sport stuff, because you have gloves on and because, you know, you're training for, for punching, um, you don't necessarily think about grabbing, okay? But in a street fight, you're gonna need to be grabbing and holding on to the guy and striking. A lot of times, when you get adrenalized, you, you go into gross motor movement, and it's kind of like caveman, primal, and most likely if you grab somebody, it's gonna, you're gonna be hitting from one side, boom, 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 over and over. I mean, you can watch on YouTube and a lot of um, street fights where They'll start swinging at each other, but since one guy grabs on and latches onto somebody, he just starts going at it with one arm. Boom, 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 and he doesn't switch over, okay? And he just keeps on going until he takes out the guy. So, this is going to help you to teach you to get comfortable grabbing and pulling an individual when you strike him, okay? So, in the next segment, I'm going to show you a few things you can do with this belt or with this uh, setup here, okay? All right. And in this segment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use and utilize this, this belt or this strapping. Or you can use, like I said, you can use a, a, a karate belt, you can use a, a rope, you know, you know, an inch and a half, two, two inch thick rope. We're going to do the same thing, loop it, and it'll let, just let it hang there, okay? So what I'm going to do is, you know, come to the heavy bag. This is a regular boxing heavy bag. And, uh, you know, as you're striking it, boom, boom, hitting it, right? You're just going at it, and then the belt's just hanging here, and as soon as you grab it, right, and it pull it towards you, pull it towards you as you strike, okay? And it will simulate you grabbing someone by the, either by the shirt or jacket as you're hitting them, or grabbing it from the back of the head and yanking it towards yourself as you're striking, okay? And you can do this while you're standing up. You can do it if you're kneeling down and do the same kind of thing. Um, try to mimic but what happened in a real fight, and this is one of the things that will happen is you grabbing somebody, okay? Maybe as you're grabbing this, you're grabbing them by the arm, pulling them and cracking them, okay? And as you do that, get comfortable yanking on it, pulling at it, and pulling it towards you violently as you strike it, okay? Uh, if you want, you can raise it up higher, so that you grab by the neck, pull down as you strike, just keep on pulling it, and pull down on so you're like mimicking, yanking his head down as you're striking. Okay, works really well, and it causes a lot of you know you can cause a lot of damage in the real fight when you grab somebody that way. Okay, so try that and see what you think. Okay, another way you can do this, or you, another option is when you're grabbing and, and striking, you can use your elbows. Okay, you can use your forearms as you pull them towards, your, towards you, you can use your forearms, you can use your elbows, okay, you can hammer fist it, pulling it towards you, okay, you can pull them towards you and palm heal them, like maybe you're striking them on the ribs or hit them in the groin, okay, you're just striking it, okay, we get violent with it, you know, and as you do that, what's going to happen is it's going to train you to start getting kind of, you know, more violent and uh, understand that, hey, it's not just punching, but I can also grab and strike at the same time. Another thing you do is you can headbutt it as you pull it in, but as you do that, be careful. As you headbutt, get used to it. If you're not used to it, as you're headbutting, hit with the crown of the forehead, okay, on the sides, okay, but not straight on here because you might knock yourself out, okay. But I'm just saying, when you find somebody, you yank them, boom, and headbutt them that way, okay. Again, as you're doing this, Think street. Don't think that you're striking in a, or, or sparring with somebody. Don't think you're fighting with somebody viciously and you're pulling on them, okay, and trying to hurt them. 
knock them out, right? So try that and see how, how it feels. Another thing you can do, guys, is while you're using this, is switch to the opposite hand. Get comfortable using it with both hands. And when you do, again, pull towards you, hit, yank, okay? It's like grabbing someone's arm or grabbing someone by the neck or by the, by the, by the collar of his coat or shirt and yank them. Yank it. Get yank it and then hit, okay? Get comfortable to be, and be, uh, to be primal when you're fighting somebody, okay? Again, you can do this. You can pull and throw knees, kicks. You can yank them out of the way, back and forth. Whatever you want to do works really fine. And uh, uh, it's a good uh, street fighting technique, so try that out. All right, so come to the end of the video, and I just wanted to go over a, little, a few things on how to use a rope around the bag. Again, you can adjust it high or low, medium. You can also put two ropes. So you're yanking them here, grab it with the other arm, and you yank it, like you're yanking it from the head, yanking it from the opposite arm, and then just mimic like you're fighting somebody, and get vicious with the bag, and yank on that cord, or that strap, okay? So try this out, and see if you don't get more vicious and more primal when you're fighting, all right? So again, till next time, this is Daniel Sobrano telling you, so just hit him, punch a hole through him. Take care, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.